Okay, today we're going to try to figure out what this weird noise is on this Jeep XJ. And we're going to use some uh, wireless technology so we can hear where it might be coming from. So take a look. What we've got here is this Steel Man wireless chassis or chassis ear. And what this does, it has four transmitters and um, you can put them on your... Um, you know, somewhere on the frame of your vehicle and you can kind of see where the noise is coming from. And in here we have, we've got the unit, the unit in a nice molded uh, case. By the way, I did purchase this with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. Okay, uh, again, pretty cool blow molded case. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, looks like we've got our some batteries. The actual receiver unit and four transmitters. This thing comes with a ton of batteries, owner's manual, your uh, receiver there. Something in here. Looks like a lot of uh, zip ties and the devices that actually plug in. Okay, today. once I got it all unboxed, here we go. You've got your little um, things here. These actually plug into here and clamp onto the chassis. You've got some Velcro. You've got uh, some zip ties, little technician thing, I guess, if you're using this in a shop. And, of course, uh, the unit there. Okay, we will put our six batteries in this here. This uses double A batteries, and these use triple A batteries. These installed. The back cover just slides off like this. And as you can see, this takes four triple A's. This is what it looks like with the Velcro on and the little thing attached. But let me show you what we got on okay. here. What I've done was I've got one strapped to the front axle. And this is where it picks up the vibration. So we're going to listen to this uh, differential here. Where I think it's coming from is I'm going to listen for uh, this motor mount uh, uh, racket here, and I've got it strapped to this cross member here. I also have one strapped onto the back of the transfer case, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one here back on the differential. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, I'll connect it right here. And then, as you can see, I've got it strapped in right here. All right. So now we've got to turn them all on. This, each one of them has a little switch. When you turn it on, you'll see the red light come on. Okay, we've got the Jeep on. Let's see, we're gonna turn this on. And that is number one. Two has less signal. Three has about the same as one. And four is none, so. Uh, Let's go see which one of these seems to have the most noise. So channel one by far has the most noise. Channel two, there's hardly anything. Channel three, there's a little bit. Channel four, there's hardly any more noise. So it's all, it's all coming from channel one. Okay. I have determined that one and three are the biggest culprits. Let's see what that is underneath there. Yeah, so let's see. I think this one is going to be one, the one I had on this transmission mount. I hope that's what it is. It'll probably be pretty easy to fix. So yeah, that's one. So the majority of my uh, noise is coming right here at this mount. Hmm. And three. So one and three. One was at the mount. Three is right here on this transfer case. So, hmm. I'm going to change this uh, mount here and see if that's the actual issue. But this thing is noisy. I also need to check the fluid, I guess. And I'll leave a link uh, of my Amazon affiliate store down there in the description if you'd like to purchase this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that transmission mount. And uh, I think that uh, is going to help. That transmission mount looks pretty bad, but... Um, the uh, number four on the rear axle, I had put new bearings in there a while back. I'm really happy that doesn't make any noise because that actually was the quietest one. When I put it in four-wheel drive, the front diff makes a little bit of noise, but not too bad. But it all is coming from that transfer case, and it's kind of coming into the, into the cab. So don't know if that's normal or not, but it looks like everything is resting on that transmission mount, and I've never changed that. So 
Um, hopefully this uh, helps you make an informed buying decision with the Steelman uh, chassis ear. So y'all take a great, y'all have a great day.